So our first step's done. We have our background paper on our page. The next thing we're going to do is add a coordinating paper as an additional background. So choose the paper that you would like to use and then just click add as an additional background like we've done before and it will just bring that paper right here on your screen. Now what we're going to do tonight is we're going to cut this paper out into a different shape. So since um, we brought it in as an additional background, we can do anything to this paper that we went to a photo. So I'm going to come right in here. My edit photo window has popped up. I'm going to click photo shape and tonight I'm going to do a circle. So you're just going to have a little circle there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it really big. I'm going to stretch it out. This is the fun thing about um, photo shapes that you can totally play around with them and edit them. So I'm going to make it really big and then I'm going to scoot over. So you want it not quite halfway, about like that. So you can go ahead and you can add a circle like I've done or you can do another shape if you'd like. Or you don't have to do any if you don't want to do that either. Um, but go ahead and get to this point and then we will add photos.